guys welcome back to my channel this is betty owner and creator of betty's custom design here on youtube etsy facebook and instagram so uh one of the questions i get asked most often is about the flipping folding crazy um pockets that i do in some of my journals and so i figured i would just the best way to explain it is to just show you how i do it um, so that's what we're going to do today, and my journal is actually quite full. I was trying to find what I've done with it so I could show you the journal. Anyway, it is rather full, um, so I am not going to be, um, putting this in that journal. Um, but I figured I would at least show you how I do it because this will go into the next journal. So, um, I've started out this, um, paper here is, let's see, it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine inches wide, six, and right at seven inches tall, because that's, um, my journals, that's about the size that I have. It would be about four and a half by seven. So make sure, you know, this is all dependent on your actual journal. So how we're going to get started is I need to, okay, I think I'm going to go with right there. And so if this is four and a half inches wide, I don't want it quite all the way from edge to edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark about where I would want to cut it. And so I want it about right there. And let me get my trusty old paper cutter out. And I am just going to trim it right there. It doesn't have to be exact. Okay. Now I've got it there. And so that would go like that. Now I can either have it to where it folds over. Or I think what I'm going to do is use this part as a base. And let me think. You know what? I want to get a bigger piece. So let me, let me grab another piece of paper and I'll show you why. Um, let me just pull, I want a full sheet of the 12 by 12 so I can show you what I'm talking about. And all of this looks, and we're just going to have to use a piece of it. Let's just go with this. Oh God, did I actually cut that? I cut it not quite before, so that's what we'll do with this. And I'm using the full sheet, the full 12 inches, and I'll show you why. Okay, so now what I want to show them. I wanted this showing. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. So, I have it here. And then I think what I want to do is I actually want to do a, like a match, matchbook type. So, to do that, you just fold a little piece up. And you can measure and score. I just, I don't. And then I'm going to fold this little piece up. So when you're doing your matchbook like this, you do need to glue this little spot right here down. And any, you know, any glue will work. I'm just using my Fabri-Tac because that's what I use most often. And then the other thing you want to do is you want to glue right there in that crease. You don't want to have a lot of glue, but you do want to glue in that crease 
and then hold it up. And so we're gonna let that dry real quick. Now while that is drying, I can't push this down in there because I don't wanna glue it, but I am just getting about where I need to fold it for it to tuck down. And then I'm just gonna fold. And you can measure. By all means, you can measure, but I don't measure. And we might need to, might need to get some clips on this while I'm working to make sure that stays down. Let me do this because I may have messed it up whenever I tried to slide the paper in there. So I'm just going to put a little bit more glue right there. Hopefully I didn't put too much because it looks like I may have. If I did, we'll deal with it. And I'm just getting a paper clip. And I'm just going to clip that down for right now. Just to hold it while we do the other stuff. Because it's not going to be in the way. Okay, so now we have this. I'm just going to score this down. And I am going to leave the, no, I'm going to, leave, yeah, I'm going to leave a square. So this would go right here on this. And we'll put this on last, but let's go ahead and create some clips. So... The first one that we can do, just trying to see if I have some papers that would halfway match. Um, and if I don't, I can pull some. Let's just pull some paper here. All right, so I do need I do need to, not like measure, but I do need to get it where I'm going to cut it. And so I don't want it to go all the way to the fold. And I don't want it to go all the way down. So I think I want this about to here. And I am going to use the full width of it. So let me just cut that little spot off right there. And I never, um, when I start these, I never know how I'm actually going to do the flip. I don't know. I just, it, I guess once I get in there working on them, it just kind of depends on um, what I'm feeling like that day. So what I've done is I just folded over maybe about a, I don't know, maybe close to half an inch that I folded over. And then I'm going to take the scissors and I'm just going to miter those corners. You're not going to see this part. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now that I have that done, I'm actually going to take this right here and it's going to attach to this page like this. So let's go ahead and do that. And yes, I know, it's too long, but we'll show you. So I'm just going to glue this, or you could use, you know, um, your score tape, anything like that will work. And I'm just making sure that I've got it right where I want it, and I do. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do, because there's going to be a lot of stuff coming in and out of here, and you'll see why in a little bit. I do put a little bit more glue like this and then I just get some washi tape somehow <laughs> and I just put a little strip of washi tape right back here because I really want to make sure that it's held down good okay so now we've got that part done now, as you can see, this is too long, which is perfectly fine. So I am going to take and I'm going to fold 
And again, I don't want it to go all the way to the edge, so we'll fold about right there. So that's all I'm doing right now. It's just folding. And I am going to um, round the corners. Let's see if I have a small. I thought I had a small corner rounder right here, but I'll just use this one. Okay. So that's all I'm doing there. So now, as you can see, that folds over, and this should be fine now. This would tuck right in there. But of course, I glued the thing down. Not all the way. There we go. So we have this much of it done. But we're not satisfied because we want more. And I barely got that long enough. Mmm. Okay. If I add too much to this, it's really going to mess it up. You know what I can do? I'm going to fold it down right there to the top of that. It's not really ideal, but it's what I needed to do to make sure it fit. Yep, that's what I have to do. Because I got in too big of a hurry and I didn't measure good enough. Okay, so that's all the way at the top, which that's fine. So now we can do a couple of different things. Um, sometimes I will put a piece of washi tape right here as well. And I may go ahead and do that just to make sure. And, you know, my washi tape does not match right now, which I do have some that matches. Let me just, let me get that out. There's no reason to use. I'm just looking to see what I do have that matches better than what I was using just then. I have some down here that does match, but it's really wide. I guess I can use it. Hmm. With all of the washi tape I have, why is it that I can't find what I want when I'm looking for it? Isn't that how it always goes? You know what? Um, I'm just going to use a piece of this. That doesn't really match either, but probably better than the blue stuff I have right there. And I'm just going to put a piece down. And you may not even see it when I get done. Who knows? Okay. And that's just to reinforce it because it's going to be open and closed so much. All right. So now we can go right here and let's add something there. Let's see. We want something that's not quite as wide. See, that's too wide. I could cut it, but it's, and this right here is actually a good size. So let's do the same thing. I am going to fold this down. I'm actually going to do it a little, maybe a little bit bigger there. Now, instead of attaching it like this, because see, that would show, we are going to actually take and attach it on the inside there. So let's go ahead and let's put some glue on it. And I'm just going to line it up and then I'm going to press it down. 
And that's one thing about using the Fabri-Tac is it will dry pretty quickly. Um, now, whenever you're doing these flippy fold out things, they are very fun and it is quite easy to um, go pretty large and not even realize it. So keep in mind the journal that you are going to be putting this in um, because you don't want it to get too large. And I have a bad habit of not remembering that when I start doing these. And I'm just going to put some washi down because it's wanting to wiggle on me. I just want to hold that in place. Okay. Just want to make sure that doesn't go anywhere. Now, we can do a couple of different things here. We can either cut it right here, but what fun would that be? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold where I want it to crease there, and so we'll do that. And so now I'm just folding it over. So now we have it, it'll fold here, but now this is too long. So then I'm just going to take, and I'm gonna come right here to where it would fold, and I am just going to fold this. So I know where I need to fold it now, and I'm just folding it down. So now, as you can see, we have this. And so this opens up, and this opens up, and then this opens up. So let's work on this part first. Um, let's put some paper in there, maybe, you know, for like a journal in spot. And I'm just pulling keep these little notepads. Um, I pick them up at the Dollar Tree and I just keep a bunch of these right here at my desk. And I was just looking to see what all I do have I can put in there. Let's go with this right here. That'll be almost perfect right there. So let's tear off a couple of these. Do this. Let's measure. If I put it there, I don't want it to come all the way to the bottom. So let's cut. Mm, let's cut it on this line here. And see, guys, I'm telling. I, when I start this, I really have. I don't know how it's going to turn out whenever I do it. I just, I just go with the flow. Okay, so I want my bottom one to be that full size. Now this one, I am going to cut up at the line above that. Well, I cut. Okay, and so now this one, since I cut here, see if you guys can see. Let me get the other thing out where you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the original one. I want it to stay that length. The one that's going to go on top of that, I cut two lines off. So this one, I want to cut maybe three lines off or yeah let's go three lines off of it I 
actually, I think I really want one more line off because I want it to be really noticeable. Okay. And as you can see, it's starting to stack up. And that's all we've done on that. So we have to three. And I could put more, but I think we have plenty going on. So I stack them down together. And then I get my corner rounder and around the corners. Now let's go ahead and let's ink the edges mainly so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm not going to ink them real dark or anything. So I hope all of you guys have had a good weekend. I can definitely feel the difference in the air here in Florida. It's still like 90 degrees, but the humidity is just, well, there was not much humidity today. And it felt so good. Okay. So now you guys can see, this is how it's gonna look. So you can really clearly see that it's, you know, stacked. Now, the next thing I am going to do is I am just going to glue the tops of these. I want to glue these together. So I'm just putting a strip there, lining this up, just making sure it's even, and then a strip here. And lining it up. Okay. So we have a little notebook. And this little notebook is going to attach right in here. So let me find some. I want to put some um, washi tape on that just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. This will be okay. So now I'm gonna take the back of this. I'm going to put a little strip of glue. There went my paper cutter. And then I'm just going to glue it down. And then I've got my washi tape right here. And I am going to put just a little strip of glue right through here. That's to help my washi tape hold good. And then I'm just sticking the washi tape down as well. Okay. So now we have this neat little notebook in here that's hidden amongst all of this. So again, we could stop here because that's quite a bit going on already, but that wouldn't be fun. So let's continue. So let's work right here. Now, I could make another fold out. And I'm tempted. Um, no, let's not. Let's not do a fold out here. Let's just maybe add, um, let's add like a little pocket right there. Just so that we could tuck maybe a little ticket or something in. So again, I'm not like measuring. I'm just making a mark about where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to line it up there. Okay. Okay. And I don't remember which side was which, so we'll have to. Okay, so it's this one. 
right? Is that the right size? Yep. All right, and since we rounded those corners right there, let's do the same thing here. So everything lines up. And I just went ahead and done all four corners. And then I am going to take this patch here and I'm gonna just put a very slight little pull in it. And we will ink this up just so that you can see it easily. All right. And now I am going to want to glue that down. Oh, my glue fell over. I was looking for my glue. And so we want to just do a little bit on the three sides. And this is something that you could use the um, eighth inch score tape and it would do really good. Okay, so I'm just gluing it down, which because I just done that, I probably messed up my opening, but it's okay. So now we have that, that we can stick something in. So now let's work right here. Now, same thing, we have a choice. We can put a little notebook, we can put a belly band, we can put a flip. So, I'll tell you what, let's do a belly band right here. And let's just do it like that and we'll cut it about here. And I mean, you can continue to add to this. Um, your only limitation is going to be um, how thick you build it up and if it is going to fit in your journal that you plan on putting it in. Because you can just continue to build to the one page. Um, so now let me just ink this up. Okay, that way you guys can see it. And let's glue this down. And since it's a belly band, we're just gonna glue right here along both short sides. That's all we're gluing. And we'll put it right there. Okay, so now let's move on to this. And on this, let's do, let's see, I'm just looking to see what I have. That's not going to be really bulky. I have some blue paper that's not bulky. But let's do this. I like that. Okay. So I think the size is going to be good. So I'm going to fold it like this. And again, this is not one that I want showing on that side, so I need to glue it onto the paper. And so that's what I'm doing right here, just putting some glue on it. Okay. And as you guys can see, I turned this so many different times as I'm working. And so now I'm just wanting to place it, I'm trying to get it middle ways of the folds, but it don't really make that much difference. Okay. Now let's do the same thing. Let's put a piece of washi just to make sure that it doesn't go anywhere. And we'll go back with that same washi that we just used. And again, I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue to help that washi out. And then I'm just gonna glue it or washi it down. Because we are adding some weight to this, so I don't want it to go anywhere. Now again, I could 
cut this off. Um, but what fun would that be? But I think I'm just going to maybe do, okay, so let's fold it here. So it's gonna fold this way. All right. And I'm thinking, I'm not gonna cut it. I'll just, I won't add anything else to it. And I'm just gonna go not quite to the fold there and then fold that down. All right, and let me round the corners. Okay. Now we could add some stuff to this, but I'm afraid we are already getting a little too bulky. Yeah, and we haven't even started on this. Um, so we, let's see, what can we put right there? Just looking to see what I have already done that I might can chunk in there. That will add a lot of bulk because we have enough bulk going on. I'm just digging through my little, oh, that can go at the top. This is, that's too wide. Okay, I know what I have. Where did it go? Right here. Somewhere. There are the dogs. I have these little journal cards from Impulse. That will be perfect to slide right in there. There we go. And I think we'll put another one over here on this side. If it fits, that's too wide and I don't want to cut it. Um, how about this? We'll stick this little stamp in there. There we go. So we got that. We got something there. I'm not going to put anything there as bad as I want to. Nor there. Let's brown these. What we'll do is we'll work on the other. And if I'm not too bulky, then we'll come back and add even more stuff. How about that? Because we still have this area to work with, and this area to work with, all of this. There's so much we can do. Now, right here, let's do, um, let me see. Let's see how this would fit. That would fit almost perfect. Let's see what all I have that we can use. These are all purple. Okay, let's just get maybe a couple of these. All right. And let's see how those are gonna fit. Looks like they'll fit good. So I would want to cut it right here. That's, and this is going to be for the longest one. So let's just go ahead and cut just the longest one. We'll do it first. Okay. So if I have that one cut there, Then I want to cut this one here. See you guys, I do, I'm, I'm sure I craft so crazy. I just craft how, how I actually try to think about it. And, and so now this one, I need to cut here. And thank God there's no rules in junk journaling because I'd be in a mess because I just, my mind apparently thinks different. <laughs> well, what did I do with the one I just cut? Did I leave it on the thing, guys? Did I really? 
I don't even see where it went. I have these three pieces. But I don't have the other piece. There it is. Okay. So now that's how that'll stack up. Let's round these corners. And let's do the same thing. Let's just start gluing this down. And we're going to glue this one down. Then I just want to make sure that they're even. That's the good thing about Fabri-Tac is you do have just a few seconds to put everything back the way you want it. And now we're just going to glue this down. All right, and I'm going to get it right at that edge over here. Okay. And then I will put a piece of washi tape right there in that fold. And then we will come back tomorrow and finish embellishing this all up. So that's what we have so far, guys. In tomorrow's video, we will work on this some more. We'll get it, um, hopefully get it finished and attached onto our page. So stick around, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.